The Second Night by Thomas Hardy, Ballad. I missed one night, but the next I went. It was gusty above and clear. She was there with the look of one ill content and said, do not come near. I am sorry last night to have failed you here. And now I have, I have traveled all day and it's long rowing back to the West Ho Pier. So brief must be my stay. O oh, man of mystery, why not say, out plain to me all you mean, why you missed last night, and must now away, is another has come between? O oh, woman, so mocking in mood and main, so be it, I replied, and if I am due at a differing scene before the dark has died, tis that, unresting, to wander wide, has ever been my plight. And at least I have met you at Cremiel side, if not last eve, tonight. You get rest, you get small rest, that I read quite, and so do I, maybe. Though there's a rest hid safe from sight, elsewhere awaiting me. A mad star crossed the sky to the sea, wasting in sparks as it streamed. And when I looked to where stood she, she had changed, much changed, it seemed. The sparks of the star in her pupils gleamed. She was vague as vapor now, and ear of its meaning I had dreamed. She vanished, I knew not how. I stood on long, each cliff-top bow, like a cynic nodding there, moved up and down, though no man's brow, but mine met the wayward air. Still I stood, still stood I, wholly unaware of what had come to pass, or had brought the secrets of my new fare to my old love, alas. I went down then by crag and grass to the boat wherein I had come. Said the man with the oars, "'Tis said the man with the oars, this news of the lass of Edgecombe is sharp for some. Yes, found this daybreak, stiff and numb on the shore here, withered she'd sped to meet her lover last night in the glum, and he came not, tis said. And she leapt down, heart hit, pity she's dead, for so much, so much for the faithful bent. I looked and again a star overhead shot through the firmament. That is The Second Night Ballad by Thomas Hardy.